How to Clear Scratch Disk in Photoshop Hello, if you work in Photoshop or other intensive programs, you have to know how to clear scratch disk. Why do you need to do this? It will fix the Photoshop scratch disk full problem for you and let you continue your work. If you've just recently stumbled on this error and don't know what scratch disk is, well, it's like a space for temporary files that are created when you do some design or editing work. When this space gets cluttered, you'll get the scratch disks are full Mac errors. So let me show you how to clear scratch disk on Mac and how to empty scratch disk so you can start using it again. I have Photoshop, so I'll use this as an example, but you can do the same with other software. If you have a Mac, the best way is to clear purgeable space with Clean My Mac X, the world's best Mac cleaner. It's really simple. Just open it, go to maintenance, select free up purgeable space and run. That's it. Now you know the easiest method on how to clear Photoshop scratch disk. Clean My Mac X is really worth its price, and you can get it for just $9.99 per month with over 200 other apps if you subscribe to Setapp. But what do you do if you don't have Clean My Mac? How to deal with this Photoshop scratch disks are full issue? Simply try deleting those temporary files manually. Go to Huda Spot. It's a search app I use. You could also use Finder. I'll search by file extension, so I put .tmp here. And I'll also specify that name contains PSD, because it's how Photoshop names the files. Here you go. Oh, there are so many of those temporary files. Now, I'll just select all and move them to trash to empty scratch disk Photoshop. Don't forget to empty the trash folder in the end, like that. Now you also need to clear the Photoshop cache. Let me open Photoshop. Choose Edit from the menu, then Purge. All? OK. That's how to clear a scratch disk in Photoshop. You can try this method with other apps, too. If that didn't fix the Photoshop scratch disk full Mac issue for you, try changing the location of the disk. For example, you can move it to an external drive. Let me show you how to change scratch disk in Photoshop. I'll connect a USB drive. Now let me go to Photoshop. I'll choose Preferences, Scratch Disk, and then select My USB over here. OK, done. I'll just need to quit and restart Photoshop now. That's about it. As you can see, Clean My Mac X offers you a great Scratch Disk full Photoshop fix, so you have nothing to worry about if you have this cleaner on your Mac. That's how to clear Scratch Disk Photoshop. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments, and have a great day. Thank you.